10.3a factoring tricks perfect squares. Now you may recall when we were multiplying polynomials that when we had a polynomial in this form it multiplied out to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. If we can take the square root of the first and last term, it may be a what we call a perfect square trinomial. Okay, let's see how this works. So when I look at example one, one of the first things that pops out at me is that I can take the square root of 25. I can also take the square root of 1. It's a given that we can do the x squared part in general. So what that means is that this may be a perfect square trinomial. So what I'm looking for here, if you remember back to our formula, we have a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now this right here I should write it as a plus or minus because this can either be positive or minus. In this case we have minus here. So we're looking to see is, we're checking the middle term, is 2 times the square root of our a, which is in this case is 1, times the square root of 25 going to give me 10. That's what we're looking for specifically. Well, it just so happens it does. The square root of, we have 2 times 1 times the square root of 25, which would be 5. That gives me 10. That means that it is a perfect square trinomial. This is kind of my scratch work here. So, we're going to put a square on the outside. We bring down this sign here, which is negative. The square root of the first term is x, the square root of the last term is 5, and we are done. How would I check it? Remember that any times you fa factor anything, you can check your answer by foiling it back out. Okay, good habit to develop. Let's look at our second one here. Again, I can take the square root of 9, and I know I can take the square root of 25. For the most part, we just kind of ignore the variables. As long as we have squares there, we know we're good. So we're looking to see if 2 times the square root of 9 times the square root of 25 is going to give us 30. Well, I have 2 times 3 times 5. Well, guess what? I get 30. So that tells me it is a perfect square trinomial. The fun part, of course, is recognizing these when they are not um, identified as perfect square trinomials when they're scattered in the homework. Again, the key is to look at your first term and your last term to see if you can take square roots. You're going to use middle math for this part right here. And if it, you know, it works out to be the middle term, then you guess what? You put your boxes. I'm going to put in my x and my y. Those are no question there. This is a plus, so I'm going to put down a plus. Square root of 9 is 3. Square root of 25 is 5. And make sure the whole thing is raised to the second power. And you're done.